is good, Greg, and we're here today. We're actually going to be trying to do some turtle trapping. It's kind of raining, and I know that, oh, dude, it's raining. It's actually slowing down a lot now. It's me. We got Adam over here. We're actually matching somehow, and then we have Evan. He's already left. Like, he just jumped out and went fishing. He's already got his tackle box and everything. He's over there somewhere, but we can't see him because, you know, there's a sycamore right there. Adam's got the fat back right there. That is the juice for today. Not going to tell you too much because that is a secret. But let's head on out here and see what we get. can get. What's happening, Ward? I think that on turtle is about this big around. Already? Yeah. What size pants you wear? Huh? What size pants you wear? Maximum comfort. We just had a spotting of the largest turtle he's ever seen, approximately the size of two bathtubs combined. It's swimming that way towards that big stick. In the I'm water. telling you, son, it may be wet, those weeds may be high, but we're gonna catch you some turtles today. Let's go get the poles, Adam. We forgot them. Where's my scythe when I need it? You got papa shade? You may find something. My shoe's already wet, and I just stepped outside. While me and Adam's out here matching, we'll go ahead and say that we released this shirt anyhow. It's it's a KG fishing shirt, long sleeve, really lightweight. But we're gonna come in, get the two poles, get those tackle box. Now we're about ready. But like I was saying, we released this shirt on the website right now, kindlegray1.com slash shop. But there's also a lot of different designs. I'll pop some up on the screen right here. That's a lot of the stuff we released today. We actually released quite a bit. Evan's already out here trying to get him a big one. Come on, big one. Give me a big one. What are we fishing with? Start now. He's going to try to catch him a fish first. Just a Cinco. Just a Cinco? Yeah. That's probably going to catch just as many turtles as we can catch on fat back. Oh, let's be cutting up the fat back. Give me a big one. <laughs> ain't done this one forever. I know, we've been a while, ain't it? First, let me show you the rig we're gonna be using. We're gonna, the bait we're gonna be using, and we've already kind of told you, we're using fat bag. It's basically just a weird fat meat. Now, the rig we're gonna be using, preferably braid, because it's a little stronger for the turtles, and then just a plain hook, and that's it. We just toss it out there, let it sink to the bottom weightless, and whenever a turtle just starts eating it, it's kind of weird. We'll show you whenever that happens. Then we just set the hook and reel him in and stick him in a barrel. It's about that easy, but it's also not easy at all. This stuff's frozen, so. Evan's cast is like two feet every time. I'm ready for a good hash brown. Yeah, me too, dude. What we've decided is that we're not going to eat until after we're done. If we catch a turtle, we'll go to McDonald's. See, there we go. Pretty simple, really simple. It's a turtle, so he's probably going to swallow the whole thing and probably doesn't care about hooks too much. Now we got our two rods. Hooked up. Evan's still bass fishing. I'm telling you what, boys. Let's go ahead and tire some in there and catch the turtles. Blood button style. Okay, this is going to be a challenge coming down to the bank. and my old cleats on. Oh, he's got cleats. I don't know why he chose cleats, but I'm not going to argue. All right, where are you going to cast, Adam? We got three poles, so we need to divide it out pie style. I'll probably cast right over in this area. Somebody can cast in the middle. Okay, Adam's going to cast right there. I guess I'll cast... That's a good cast, Adam. Well, thank you. He's way out there. Been working. I'll cast right there. And I guess Evan can cast over here in this little quarter. Now we just set the poles down, and whenever the line starts mm -hmm. doing weird jerky thingies, we're done. I mean, then that means we got turtle, huh? We need to make the little stands again. We do. Let's go get some. Evan's got his knife right here. <laughs> we were kind of confused. If he sees a snake, his hardest decision is going to be, does he stab it or does he punch it? We don't know yet. That's tough decision. That's one I'll have to make in the heat of the moment. I don't know if my pole will be able to handle it. Huh? <laughs> Zebco. You know how much? They're like 20 bucks in there. I don't a want decent, no Zebco. No, a decent pole is like 20 I bucks. I don't want a Zebco. You want a garbage? You want an Abu Carnia? Yeah. He wants a wood button. Wade Baton. If he'd come out with one, I'd buy it. I guess I'm going to take his off and put some 30 pound test on it. <laughs> 30 pound braid. I don't want to jinx anything. But every time we hook a turtle, it never comes off. What are you lying at with? What do you mean? You put some braid on that? What we got going on here? Well, right now it's a big mess. <laughs> well, I don't know what's going on. Put you some braid on. Well, what's that? That's some. We got 25 pound right here. Yeah, we don't need that. It'll blow up that spool. It's probably what's on it right now, ain't it? Probably. I think that's what's on it right now. Thick stuff though. Yeah, it is. No, uh, the braid will probably be better for it. Even though it's 30 pound, the braid is still a smaller diameter than what's on it right now. Oh gosh. Maybe you should just punch it instead, see if it works <laughs> Oh, it's starting to rain. <sighs> we need an umbrella. We need some sticks. Let's get some sticks. All right, what are we looking for? We're looking for some wild looking outfit sticks to hold her pose up so we don't have to. What were we thinking? Just cut this thing right here? Yeah, I've been making a run out to the garage, see what I can find. Is it right if you leave your poles out? In the rain? Yeah, because it's about to come down. It is about to come down, ain't it? Yeah, I'm trying to keep your camera not wet. What do we do with the poles? Because we got to get out of the rain a little bit. I think we go just let the bell out on him, where if a turtle comes, he can have it, but then he won't have the pole. 
Let's go do that. Let's get in the truck. Cause it is actually uh, raining pretty good. Meanwhile, it's raining a little bit. Probably not too much to fish, but it's okay cause we're giving we're giving Ward some time to tie up. First time using braid. He's a first time user. It's a delicate process. <laughs> Zevco. What should we get for this in 1992? Uh, I got it for free. It may or may not have a hard time. Why did it say six pound test? Diameter of six pound line, so that's really good. What we need to do is find some tape. What it's done is it's slipping. We can probably find some tape or something simple. Yeah, we will. We ain't got an umbrella. I know you ain't got no tape right there. I got band-aids, it's the same thing, buddy. <laughs> we'll macabre this stuff. Now with braid, we have the problem, it's slipping. So we're gonna get some tape, put a band-aid, and have a redneck band-aid fishing pole. Yes, sir. I want to see the call. Get it banging. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, gonna, is it got a boo-boo? You -boo? got a boo-boo. But it, it's gonna work. You think it will? Oh yeah. Guaranteed. Oh, sorry. And that there is how you use a band-aid to fix fish bow, Kentucky. <laughs> it is it is looking weird. <laughs> it is not lining up even. That don't look right. There's a bunch of line up here and there's no line right here. I'll let you have it. You can have it. Punch it. Do you have your level six <laughs> squadron destroyers? Oh, that gone. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna punch it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no way, it didn't cut that. It cut it good. No, I sure All right, yeah. All right, let's go get a turtle now. All right, now we got about approximately seven and a half minutes till the next big storm comes. Looking at the upper atmosphere, it looks like we're gonna have a pretty good day. Moon faces are all looking good. We have our first turtle spotting. Not really a turtle. But right out there, if you can see all those bubbles coming up, that's a turtle, son. He's breaking loose from the bottom. Air bubbles are starting to come up. About to get juicy. I don't know. It's probably about 20 feet from where Adam's fat back is right now. We actually have Ward. He's out there. He's made a move on us. Hey, Ward, say hey. My line's straight. Adam's line's out here. And Ward's going to go out there and he's going to cast his own line. He's one of those fellas. He makes his own trail. Okay, guys, so I think we think we have a suspected turtle over here on Adam's line. So right there's his line. It's kind of hard to see. Right there's the end. There it was. Did you see that? What it does, what a turtle does, is since it's like a weird animal, weird looking outfit, you know, it's not like a fish that don't take it and swim off. What it actually does is it goes up to the fat back, puts it in its mouth, and then just slowly takes it about a centimeter down its throat at a time. And kind of just sits there and chews it and makes sure it is what it is. And so that's why whenever you're out here like this and you have your line, it'll go... It'll just jump forward like an inch or maybe less than that at a time. Maybe just not even jump, just barely even bounce. Hashtag turtle gang. Tell them where we're going, Adam. We're going to the old shed to find if we can find a weed whacker. We need something to knock some weeds down. Adam forgot his scythe at the house. I forgot my pocket weed eater at the house. I'm out here rocking the KG Jaeger saw. Also available at kennelgreat1.com slash shop. Give us a real honest review. How is the KG fishing shirt right now? It's light. It is light. It's really it's lightweight. Cool. It is cool. It's stylish. It's very stylish. Blue body camo sleeve. But now let's look in here at the CMT refrigerator and see if we can get something knocked down weeds. The saw. We got a hoe. Here's a lantern. Possibly. Possibly. A mattress. A wet mattress. Yeah, I don't think there's nothing that can help us. We've decided for unconventional methods. <laughs> well, that hurt my hand. Show the gray gang what we're talking about. Oh, 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 there it goes, there it goes. See it? Let's just watch his line for a minute. It'll jerk out and jerk in, tighten and loosen. All it is is a turtle playing with it, getting it in his mouth, chewing on it. Oh, is that you? Bruh, who's that? What is... Oh, that's the beaver. There's a giant beaver in here. And if he don't come up... I don't... That could be a turtle, but I don't, I don't know if a turtle's gonna move that quick. Okay, guys, so I don't really know. The last pond, for some reason, it just didn't work out. The turtles were being moody. They were just they were just trying to be difficult. It was a rough day. So we came over here. This is actually my pond. Now, I fish here a lot. We got a lot of catfish, a lot of bluegill, but recently, my uncle said he saw three turtles at once, and that's a lot for this pond. Usually with this pond, if we see a turtle, we try to get it out just because we don't want turtles in here. We only want fish. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to try to catch these turtles using the same exact tactics and bait and everything as we was at the last pond. One thing about this pond there's a lot of catfish and they're kind of trained to eat so as soon as we throw one piece of fat back in there we're probably gonna catch catfish and then after we catch about two catfish then the catfish will just stop biting and it'll give us time to eat turtles but we're gonna let evan right here or wood whichever one you want to call him we're gonna let him cast him first that way you know he can catch the catfish toss her in i'm gonna say seven seconds he's got it go 
Got him? Yeah. There we go. D, come off. Jesus, Evan. Told you I missed my freaking finger sword. <laughs> All right, Adam, we you know what to do. We got the bucket. Here, just go get it. Just toss him in the back of the truck. Okay, guys, so we're just, uh, go, 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 go. He's a big one, son. Go. We're just, uh, you know, we're driving down the road. Hurry, Adam. And a giant snapping turtle just standing on the side of the road. Yo, yeah, we'll take it. They're going to run it over. If they hit my turtle, I'm, I'm done. What are you doing? Oh, there's a car coming. Adam, dude, just grab the turtle. Oh, grab it by its tail. They just hit it. It'll probably be okay. They didn't hit it. They hit its back leg. Yeah. It'll be okay. We can still get him. He's a pretty big turtle. Should we get out? Adam's in the middle. Adam! Just grab the turtle! Come on! Okay, come on. Come on. He's bleeding. Somebody ran it over. <laughs> okay. Just set him in the back. We'll take him we'll take him home and see what we can do with him. Let's see him. Somebody ran him over. Yeah. I knew he was hurt. Well, he did try to walk across the middle of the road. Probably wasn't the smartest idea, was it? I will say, even though we can't get them at the pond, we still got us a turtle, boys. <laughs> we knew we'd get us a turtle by the end of the day. Let's take him to the house and I see what we can get done with him. That's crazy. <laughs> what was you doing? Why didn't you just pick him up? Because <sighs> he had blood all over him. I don't find out who ran him over. Because you... when, when he got ran over, he went, Rawr! It's crazy how we go to one pond early this morning, sit for about two hours, try to catch turtle, and can't get a bite. Then we go to the other pond, sit for one hour, can't get a bite. And then we go to KFC, and on the way back, we find this guy. Can you believe it? Because I can't. That's insane, guys. Like, that's not a small turtle either. He's a pretty good size. But as you saw, we did have a little bit of phone footage, so tell us what happened, Adam. Uh, yeah, um, I was going to pick him up, got back in the <coughs> truck to get the garbage can. I look back at some red car just runs him right over on his back leg, and he's bleeding pretty good. Well, we think he'll be okay. Yeah. So we kind of saved him from the road, but instead we're kind of just going we're going to eat him because that's what we were really wanting a turtle for to begin with. But I guess now we're instead of him just getting hit on the road and dying like that, now we're putting him to kind of good use. We're going to eat him. It's good use for us. See how big he is. Let's go dump him out over here on the concrete and we'll wash him off some. Now, what we're going to do with this turtle is we're going to wash him off some right now. Then we're going to fill the bucket up with about, I don't know, about a quarter way of water. Let him sit in there for a few days. And then change out the water accordingly. That'll clean out his insides, clean out his meat. Make sure he's a clean and safe turtle to eat. Yeah, you can just dump him out right there. Come over here, get the water hose. He's probably not exactly a happy turtle. He did just get hit by a car. Heard that. Yeah, let's check him out. He seems to be. I mean, he what. When we found him, he was kind of booking it across the road, so. Better watch out, buddy. Yeah, I know. Let's see. How aggressive he is. He's definitely bleeding a little bit back here on his tail. I don't know how much damage, if much at all. He may be, he may be like completely okay. He is a turtle, so he's extremely strong. I feel like he's not really hurt that bad. He's got a little blood right there on his foot, but overall, he's a pretty strong creature. He's a good turtle. Just spray him off some. Let's see how he acts now. Yeah. Oh. No. That's crazy, dude. That's about as close to a dinosaur as we're gonna get. That's just cool. All right, look back through that again. Do what? So you see the way his eyes change whenever you put water in his face? Yeah. He has like a shield over his eyes. Yeah, like a snake. Yeah. He's gonna get away from us. No, he's not. I believe he's about as clean as we're gonna get him just by spraying him off. So now what we're gonna do is, uh, if he would like to walk in, that'd be preferred. I think he's gonna do it for us. Thank you. Okay, that works. That's fine, brother. Now we're just gonna fill this up. We're gonna fill it up to just over his back. And then we'll let him, and then, and then we'll let him soak in this water for a few days until it just gets all dirty. Then we'll change it, then it'll get dirty, then we'll change it. And then by that time, he should be kind of okay and cleaned out and probably ready to eat. Yeah, that's good. 
And that's all we got. That's all. That's all for him. Now since it is Saturday, it's time for the rest of the week. Now let me tell you, people, we just dragged a turtle off the side of the road. This verse has nothing to do with that, but I just, I just wanted to let you know that I had a good time today. It was fun. But this verse is coming out of Proverbs four twenty three, and it says, "Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life." Now that's pretty important. It's basically saying whatever is in your heart, that's your life and your actions really reflect that. So if you let bad things get into your heart and you don't like make a notion or you really don't try to get those out or fix that, once those bad things are in your heart, your life is kind of going to start reflecting those bad things. Now I understand it's easy to get bad things in your heart. It's easy to get bad thoughts in your mind. What I would suggest doing is instead of just letting them say, well, they're okay, because we got to admit sometimes bad things are fun and they feel good maybe. And sometimes they're cool just because they're not good. I don't, I don't really know how that works, but it's true. It's weird. But if I could say anything, it's that next time you notice that bad things are in your heart or mind, instead of just saying they're okay, try to fix them. Because if you let them go on for too long, that kind of becomes who you are, and it'll start reflecting outwardly to other people. And I mentioned my shop earlier, but I just want to let you guys know, it's not closed anymore. It was actually closed for... Yeah, I don't know, like two weeks or something. It was closed for a while. We're just clearing it up. It is open. A lot of new stuff out. Even paw gray grippers. And lanyards. And a ton of t-shirts. And spinner baits. Goodness, man. There's a lot of stuff on the website. I ain't even showed you guys. I'll actually have to get out and show you that sometime. But anyways, Gray Gang, I just want to let you know, I'm going to let you go. That kind of rhymed. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching another 10 of Gray's amazing videos. And if you want a bracelet like this, or any other of his merch, go to pendlegray1.com slash shop, hashtag Jesus, hashtag great game.